Hey guys, so I am back again. I have another stethoscope to review for you guys. Um, Metalita sent me one of their Erica Finesse 2 stethoscopes to review, so the video is not sponsored, but I did receive the product for free, so I just want to be upfront about that with you guys. Now, this particular stethoscope is supposed to be comparable to a Littmann Classic 3, which I also do have, but we're primarily just going to be looking at this stethoscope today, but I will give you some of the key differences that I noted between the two. So, first thing, uh, just first impressions, when I got the stethoscope, they all actually come with a carrying case, and I've always wanted to get a carrying case for my stethoscopes, but I just never got around to it, I guess. <laughs> I was always like, man, that would be a really good idea so I'm not just shoving this thing in the bottom of my bag. Um, so this one does come with a carrying case, and it even tells you on the carrying case here that this company has been around since 1889. So although Erica's kind of new to the United States, they have been making medical products uh, in other countries for like the last 125 years or something like that. So, let me show you what this looks like in the case and what the case itself looks like. So you've got your inside, obviously, your holder for your stethoscope. This is the Finesse 2. Other side has a little zipper pouch and it came with a little card that tells you about the company and then some extra ear pieces. And let me pull the stethoscope itself out for you. Now, one of the first things everybody always asks, how much does it cost? <laughs> because that's important. You know, you want something that's going to be a fair value and that's good quality, right? So right now the Finesse 2 is retailing on Metalita.com for $80 and I'll put a link in the description for you guys if you're interested in checking it out after the review. If you guys buy it, I don't get any like proceeds or anything from it, but I did like the stethoscope so I want to make sure you can get access to it. So this is the stethoscope up close. We've got a nice bright pink color and I'll get into specifically why I chose this pink a little bit later. Now for the weight of this stethoscope. Um, I know in the past reviews I reviewed some lightweight stethoscopes. If you get anything like this Finesse 2, if you get uh, you know a Littmann Classic, Cardiology, any of those, none of those are in the lightweight class. So these will be on the heavier side compared to Littmann Lightweight or the MDF Acoustica. And this is about 250 grams or like 8.8 ounces. So it's nothing that's really crazy, but you will definitely notice a little bit of weight. Now, this is on the heavier side compared to the Littmann Classic, but let me tell you why. The metal on the stethoscope is made from chrome polished brass. And if you've ever kind of used anything that's brass before, you know that brass is heavy. But along with that, because brass is heavier, it's also a little bit more durable. It's not going to get damaged as easily. And something else that's kind of interesting, chrome polished brass is less porous than stainless steel, which is what a lot of other companies use to make the metal pieces of their stethoscopes with. And that basically means when you're cleaning it, you're going to be able to clean it easier and get off more like bacteria, microbes, things like that, so that you have less chance of spreading that bacteria to other patients. And then for the length, I'm just holding it out so you can kind of get an idea. This stethoscope is 29 inches approximately, and uh, the Littmann Classic 3 is 27. So this is a little bit longer when I was using it because I, I used this for a couple of weeks at work before I actually did the review because I wanted to make sure that I had a chance to use it in various situations. And I feel like using a product just for one day isn't enough to like get a really good feel for what it is. And then also, you know, I can give it a little bit of wear and tear along the way and let you guys know how it held up. But uh, so the length was good. You know, I wasn't in like completely in my patient's face when I was listening to breath sounds. I didn't notice that if I happened to put it in my pocket that it didn't fit or if I did have it around my neck, it wasn't so long that it was kind of getting in the way. The only thing I will say is if you are someone that wears your stethoscope around your neck occasionally, because it is slightly heavier, you may just have it kind of slide down a little bit, but that you're gonna have that with pretty much any stethoscope if you're wearing them around your neck. And then of course, the most important thing for a stethoscope, sound transmission. So it's kind of funny when I first got the stethoscope, I think I had used it maybe for a day or so, and I brought it over and had my sister listen to it, who's actually a nurse. So I'm a registered respiratory therapist, if you guys don't know already. 
but my sister is also a, an ICU nurse. And so I had her listen to it and try, and the first thing she said, she's like, how much does this cost and where can I get it? So she actually really liked it a lot also, because you know we're gonna use it for kind of similar things. Now, something else everyone always wants to know about is aesthetics. So I personally love this bright pink color. I think you can get like 13 plus colors on Metalita. Um, for stethoscope tubing options. I didn't see an option to you know, change the color of the head of the stethoscope or the diaphragm, anything like that, but they have some really great colors. And I told you I would tell you specifically why I chose a lighter color. I know a stethoscope I had reviewed in the past for you guys, it was a lighter color and it was getting stained. It was picking up, you know, um, lettering from magazines, things like that. So I might have beat the stethoscope up a little bit. I was put, even though I did have a case, I wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be color transmission onto the tubing. So I had it in my work bag. I wrapped it in a magazine while I wasn't using it. I was really trying to get color to transfer off onto this thing. The only thing I didn't do is I haven't gotten any new scrubs recently, so I didn't, I wasn't able to check to see if the dye from my scrubs would uh, transfer onto the tubing. But I'm just gonna show you the tubing up close so that you can see even with me beating it up and you know wrapping it in a magazine and trying to transfer color onto the tubing nothing transferred over and this is just the other side of the stethoscope so as much as i tried no color was transferring off onto the stethoscope tubing which you know that's really frustrating when you do pay a good chunk of money for a stethoscope and then you feel uncomfortable wearing it because it's got dye or ink or something on it. I have only used it for a couple of weeks so far, so I don't know if that's something that'll happen over time. But currently, like I said, I put this thing kind of through the ringer and was trying to get color to transfer off onto it. And I had no success, which I can't say I'm upset about because I would like to continue to use a stethoscope without staining. So thankfully, nothing transferred. <laughs> And then finally, so for this specific stethoscope, it does come with a two year warranty on it, but it does feel really durable. And that's something that I can say, like the, the weight and just the feel of it in my hands, I don't feel like this is gonna break. And like I said, I was tossing this in the bottom of my backpack, I was wrapping it in magazines, I was kind of, I was probably not, not being overly rough with it, but I was really putting it to the test because I wanted to make sure since I was only gonna have, you know, Two, three weeks to do the review for you guys that I was getting some usage out of it to give you a better idea. So overall, I think this might be my new favorite stethoscope currently. Um, I have been picking this one up more when I go to work. So I guess, I guess that just kind of says a lot when you're reaching for one stethoscope over the other. I do still like my lightweights, um, but honestly, overall sound quality, I would have to say the Erica Finesse 2 was superior, in my opinion. It's great, you know, especially if you're working in ER, ICU, anything where you need to be able to listen to someone's heart or lungs very quickly and get a good idea, because this actually blocked out the sound from the outside as well. I've used other stethoscopes, and while I'm trying to, you know, oscillate, I will still be able to hear other people talking or... Um, you know, maybe I have to sit there because I'm like, am I, am I hearing, is that a crackle that I'm hearing? What is that that I'm hearing? So then you have to sit there and try to figure out if you're hearing crackles or if you're hearing something else. I didn't have that problem with this stethoscope, which I absolutely love because it makes your assessment a lot faster when you have good instruments to use. So I would recommend it for anyone, especially if you're working in ICUs, ERs, anywhere where you have critical patients where the difference between hearing crackles or something that you're not sure if is diminished can make a huge difference in your patient's treatment plan. So if you guys have any other questions regarding uh, the stethoscope, leave them in the comments down below. And again, I'll have links to this down below for you guys so you can find it, check it out. Um, their website has all the specs as well as a few of the other stethoscope types that they offer. But thanks again as always for watching and I will see you guys next time.